So, a female Secret Service agent in charge of protecting Trump during one of his campaign stops showed up fully loaded, but it wasn't with what you think. I'm on a new wave, on a new up. Jersey's so fit, and I'm from New York. We're gonna get into that video. We're gonna get into that video. But first, but first, I need you to detonate that subscribe button. Subscribe to me, the Marine Rapper. I do news and politic reactions every single day. So you want to keep it locked. You want to keep it locked at this spot. So, this female Secret Service agent that I'm speaking of, she was actually caught doing something on duty, and we are going to watch that video we're going to get into that news but first let me shrink let me shrink myself down let me shrink myself down because we got to prepare we got to prepare and uh there we go i shrunk myself down and we're going to get in this video and we're going to watch it and we're going to see what this lady did to garner so much attention. Let's go. The Secret Service detail that's guarding former President Donald Trump. So this coming from Real Clear Politics reporting that a female Secret Service agent abandoned her post in North Carolina to breastfeed her baby during Trump's visit yesterday to the Tar Heel State. The report says about five minutes before Trump's motorcade arrived, the site agent who manages security for the entire event did a final sweep of the location. And while walking the route, the site agent reportedly found the Secret Service special agent in question breastfeeding with two other family members present in a room that's supposed to be set aside for official business like an emergency involving the president. The report says the special agent did not have permission to leave her post and gave no warning prior to the event that she needed personal time. Working Secret Service agents are prohibited from bringing children or any family members, for that matter, on a protective assignment. All right, still working on clarification and details on this, that coming from the reporter for RCP. And it comes about a month after what many consider to be the biggest Secret Service failure in recent American history, the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania. For details, national correspondent Alana Austin just got a response from the Secret Service spokesman on this. She joins us live from Capitol Hill with this story. Alana. Hi, good morning, Sean and Emma. And certainly, as you mentioned there, we're really just weeks out from the attempted assassination on the former president. And we heard from a whistleblower, if you will, a counter sniper saying he was worried there could be another attack imminently as all of these campaign events, the calendar intensifies here leading up to the November elections. And here's the response I just received from the U.S. Secret Service spokesperson. It is saying all employees of the U.S. Secret Service are held to the highest standards. While there was no impact to the North Carolina event, the specifics of this incident are being examined. Given this is a personnel matter, we are not in a position to comment further. So there were many alarming details of this report that first broke from real clear politics about the family members on site. Of course, just minutes before this event is really supposed to get underway, a Secret Service agent apparently breaking numerous policies and protocols calls. I've asked the U.S. Secret Service if they could clarify whether all the details of this report are accurate. And at this point in time, we are waiting for further clarification. I gotta, I gotta grow up for a second. Let me, let me go, go big or go home. So, <laughs> Okay, let's unpack this because she wanted to unpack herself after she left her post, after she didn't tell nobody, after being on the clock. So the whole point of having a multi-gendered secret service and, and campaigning for that and fighting for equal rights and all that. This girl is kind of messing it up. She's kind of messing it up because it's not it's not really making the case. It's not really making the case. 
The only thing that's making the case is those bags of milk. That's the only thing that's making that case. That's it. This is ridiculous. I can't even believe it. So they said it's a personnel matter. It's not a personnel matter. It's a personal matter. Of human matter. Because she didn't feel like her job mattered. Yo, it was right after not just about a month, month or so that Trump got shot at. And we're not vigilant. We're not on point. We're not staying on our post. We're just leaving, feeding our baby. Why is your baby there? Your two other family members there. And then why is why are your two other family members in the room while you're pumping and you're feeding your baby? It shouldn't be a party. It shouldn't be like a breastfeeding party. I mean, I've, I've been to these airports and stuff. And when I go to the airports, I see they have these new, like they're like breastfeeding pods. And so there's a place for privacy. Like it's like this small portable room that a mother can go inside with their baby, breastfeed their baby in privacy. Do whatever they gotta do, burp the baby, whatever, rock the baby to sleep, and then go out of there and catch your flight or go home if you if you returned, wherever you were going. But the point is, breastfeeding isn't a family sport. That's 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 what I noticed. That's the that's one of the things. The main thing is, you left your post after Donald Trump got shot at and shot. After somebody got killed, after two people got injured, and after those two females were criticized and scrutinized. Because of DEI. Why don't you realize that people are looking at you, you, you are the issue. You are the problem. Your only job is to be secret service. If you are nursing and you have to nurse your child and you can't leave those little baggies behind for your husband or significant other or whatever, you should not be a secret service agent. Simple as a pimple or a dimple or a finger inside of a thimble simple why are you even there it doesn't even make any sense you're nursing if you want to nurse and be motherly and be be mommy be mommy at home because you being mommy on the job is going to take away somebody's daddy and granddaddy trump he already got shot a person got killed and two other people got injured already it's like it's not even like the next year or something you get what i mean like it's not like oh it kind of like we forgot no secret service is under scrutiny females are under scrutiny on the secret service and on tactical jobs everybody is on watch except you it just doesn't make any sense chat let me know if i'm tripping let me know if i'm tripping chat because what i saw what i heard made no sense not one lick of sense. Not one bit of sense. Not at all. So, if you aren't qualified for the job and not focused and your head is not in the game, you need to get out of the game. Male, female, cat, dog, purple, yellow, blue. I don't care who it is, you need to go. Because we're at a point in America why everybody needs to be on point. Everybody. Point man, on point, whatever. On point like a number two pencil. But there's no trace of you. Like there was no stencil. Where are you going? Why did you leave your post? Why did you feed the baby? Why was your family inside the room? Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. The only thing that is important is protecting your protect E. It doesn't mean it, it doesn't matter if it's Trump, don't matter if it's Kamala, it don't matter if it's Biden, don't matter if it's RFK Jr. Your job is to protect the protect E and put your life on the line. You can't put your life on the line if you are behind a door. You can't do it.
chat, let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know. And also, make sure that you like, make sure that you comment, and make sure you subscribe to me. I do news, politics, military, and music reactions every single day. So you want to keep it locked. You want to keep it locked. And um, until next time, until milk time, <laughs> I am...